Howdy Bears members and fans. Well on Sunday, not only is it Legends Day, but we're going to have a kick for cash. All right, our great sponsor, Joe Musa from Stonemasons and Landscapers. What a man he is. He's put up $2,000 for a kick for cash. Okay, we're gonna take you through here today, the spots where you're gonna need to kick from. You'll get a $50 kick, you'll get a $100 kick, and then there's a $350 kick when you get a bit wider. Uh, you're gonna need to do some warm up, and I'm gonna give you some tips. So let's come and have a look at how I think you should approach it if you wanna win the money. Okay, when it comes to a goal kick, all right, to keep it nice and simple, there are two main things that you need to get right. Okay, two main things. The first one is the placement of the ball, all right? It's really important that you place the ball in a fashion that's gonna allow you to kick the ball a decent distance if you wanna be able to get all the three kicks. Now this one here, I'm only 20 meters out here, so it's not so far, so I can place this one a little bit more for accuracy, right? Now when I want accuracy, I'm gonna lean the ball forward like this, where it's aiming at the post. It's aiming at the black dot, and that's where I wanna kick it. That's gonna be more accurate. Okay, the second thing I wanna do here is get my angle right, okay? You can come in on any angle when it comes to a goal kick, so you need to work out what angle works for you so that you can get the angle right to get the ball over the post. And that one just scraped in. I probably need to adjust my angle slightly on that, but I got the goal. Okay, so this one's a little bit wider. We're 15 meters in from touch here. I'm still confident that I can get the distance, so I've got the ball placed in the same manner, okay? But the, the point I didn't mention that I just want to add to the other two points is my watching of the ball as I kick it. It's no use looking at the post. The post won't move. Keep your eye on the ball as you kick it. That's my focus on this one. Make sure I keep my eye on the ball. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've got myself $150. I've got the first kick for 50 and I've got the second kick for 100. Now, we're five meters in from touch. If I'm worried about the distance and I place the ball leaning forward, it's going to cause me a problem because it's not gonna go far enough. And if I can't kick the ball far enough, then it's not gonna matter, is it, how straight I kick it. So, for those of you who can't kick it so far, I would suggest standing the ball more upright. So there's a sweet spot that you can hit here that's going to allow this ball. So this isn't my kick, but I just want to show you how you can just hit the ball a lot sweeter with that placement. Okay, so here we are for the last kick. Now, I'm five meters in from the touch line, but you can bring the ball as close to the try line as you like. So back in the 90s, I would take this ball another five meters deeper, but I can't kick it as far these days. So I've cut the angle a bit so that I can hopefully get the distance. All right, let's see how we go. This one's worth $350. All right. oh! <laughs> okay, so come on down on Sunday. We wanna see you here. Register for the kick for cash beforehand. Uh, we've got the legends coming. Mark Graham is coming to this ground on Sunday. You wanna see him, shake his hand, what a legend. Uh, we've got a heap of the, the legends playing in the touch game before the New South Wales Cup game. Mick Butner, Greg Floromo, Johnny MacArthur, John Adam. There's, there's legends everywhere. Come down, get some autographs with those guys, uh, and hopefully we get a win. Love to see you there.